My question is, are we alone in this universe? It's extremely obnoxious for human beings to think that the cosmos is human-centric. It is from this obnoxious nature that this one mistake that they made about telling you God made you in his own image has made human beings so stupid and went in about everything. Why can't God look like a grasshopper? I'm asking, why not? No, he looks like me, see. No, maybe he looks like a bug, maybe he looks like a buffalo, maybe he looks like a tiger, maybe he looks like an elephant. Or maybe he does not look like any life on this planet, he looks some other way. Or maybe he doesn't look like anything. That's not something that human beings are willing to face. They have to believe God is a big man or a big woman. More hands, more legs, but like us. So this idea that certain religions have put into people's minds made people believe that the whole cosmos is human-centric, that everything is here for us. This wanton idea has destroyed the planet. Every creature, our modern science has cooperated with this. Our idea of science today is research and research, what is it all about? It's all about how can we use everything in the universe for our well-being? If we see a tree, we want to know how to use it. If we see a bird, we want to know how to use it. If we see a flower, we want to know how to use it, a bug, a beetle, an atom. It doesn't matter what, everything we should know how to use it for our well-being. We've learned to use most of the things, but still well-being has not come, isn't it? Hmm? Isn't it? We've learned to use everything including human beings, but well-being has not come. <laughs> if you just have the patience to sit down and observe either groups of ants or bees or birds or any other animals, they have a full-fledged life and their own social interactions of their own, one hundred percent. Far more active and vigorous lives than human beings actually. It is just that we think all these things are there. If somebody finds out tomorrow how to extract protein from ants, finished, all the ants are gone. <laughs> we think this is science. This is madness, you know. This is sheer madness. Everything has its place. If we don't see that, then we've lost it. So about is this cosmos human-centric? Are we the only life? Uh, just now I was priding myself that I'm very logical. If I talk about my experiences, you will think I've gone crazy. So I will leave it at this, but it can't be human-centric. It is too big, it can't be just human-centric, it is not. For me, it's a living experience that it is not. It is just that I don't want to lose my reputation as being very logical. Because of that, I refuse to talk about a few things. <laughs>